Welcome to Ragova International Statistical Institute. Today we will see one new things for healthcare quality and patient safety. This is about a dashboard for healthcare performance. You know, as per the current scenario, I mean, as per the current research, there are many dashboard and even balanced scorecards are available for individual performance indicator. I mean, for each department, there are a lot of dashboards are available for each department. But there is no scorecard or dashboard for the comparison of department. Like, suppose if you have 10 department in your hospital, like nursing, radiology, emergency, OPD, if you want to compare all those departments together, regarding their performance, now there is no dashboard or scorecard for the comparison. So what we did, so this is the dashboard for healthcare quality performance. What are things that are available in this uh, dashboard? There are three codings, color coding. The one is uh, red color, second one is uh, yellow and third one is the green. So here we can able to categorize our department like CSD comes under red color green and the operating room comes under yellow and the dermatology and uh, human resource comes under red color. From this we can able to compare who is the best one and who is the worst one. We can able to differentiate. So this is the best uh, scorecard for the comparison of all departments together. This is like summary. Even after developing scorecard or dashboard for each department we can use this scorecard for the comparison of all departments together. And this, this, from this we can able to take some major action and also decision. So how we develop this scorecard? What is the strategy between this uh, scorecard or dashboard? So there are three color. As I mentioned, we have three color coding. So what is the first one is, uh, it's about uh, red color. So what does it indicate? Less than 50% of improvement from the total KPA. And yellow is just 50 to 80% of improvement from the total KPA from the concerned department. And uh, green is 80 to 100. So how we did the calculation, I will show you the raw data. Yes, this is the raw data. This is the scorecard for each department. Like we did, uh, like for emergency, we did. These are the indicator under emergency. Like uh, even if you, if you want, I will expand this. Yes, this is the one. The first one is patient who stay longer than six hours in the ER. For 10,000 patients, and this is the numerator and denominator. This is comes in the outcome as per uh, Donald Median model, and this is our target. And this is this is the starting time. There is no data, and then we took data. This is for the particular time, like for example, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, like that. And this is the current result. For example, for the first quarter of 2020. How much we got 64.6 and 454.6 and this so compared to compared to the target uh, these are all comes under green color which indicate there is improvement 
almost uh, uh, there is improvement so totally how many kp under er like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 5 kp under uh, er just we'll do the calculation 5 kp so this will come in the denominator so what is the numerator numerator how many under the green color here see how many under green color one two three four only four the last one is red because this is less than the benchmark because our benchmark is should be 100 but ours is the actual outcome is 42.2 so this is uh, significantly low so that's why it comes in a red color so we have only four green so numerator will come four so how much four by five into hundred so what is the calculation just calculate four divided by uh, four divided by just check uh, how much the four divided by five it's almost 80 percentage am i correct so 80 percentage means as per our uh, guideline 80 percentage if it is 80 we can put under this one gray because out of 5 kpa there are uh, 4 kpa comes under green color i mean there is improvement because what is green uh, as per the dashboard 80 to 100 percent improvement and all are achieved target so this comes under 80 percentage so if it is 80 we can put er under green color i mean what does it indicate finally there is no problem from here there is improvement just only few things are need to improve but what about from medical supply yes i have one more example medical supply uh, under medical supply we have one two three uh, performance indicator and these are the numerator these are the benchmark and this is the actual outcome in 2020 first quarter so here total number of kp is three correct excellent okay but out of three no one is under green color so all are uh, one is red and two even two also not good i mean the yellow also not good so only green is good so if, if it is green there is improvement red is there is no improvement also not achieve the target but if it is yellow there is improvement but not achieve the target so for green there are two things we need to check what is the outcome compared to the previous quarter is there any improvement another one how far it deviate from the benchmark whether it is less than the benchmark it's more than is there any difference between the actual outcome and the expected outcome? So there are two things we need to check for this color coding. So as I mentioned, medical supply, there are three KPA out of three, no one is under green color. So just put zero in the numerator. So what is the percentage? Zero percentage. So if it is zero, it comes in the red color because less than 50 all comes under red color so we can put under this one there is no significant improvement from which department yes from medical supply so we can put under this category so at the end of this first quarter report we can able to compare all department which one is we need to focus where is the problem is the problem from nursing department or from radiology so this is the idea for this uh, dashboard the specialized one 
for department. Even what we mentioned in the title, see, it's a healthcare quality performance dashboard. An overall view of, of the performance of all department, yes. So this is the idea. So with the help of this dashboard, we can compare, we can able to view the performance of all department. We can able to show all together as a summary in a single dashboard. No need to prepare 30 pages or 40 pages. Just by a single chart, we can able to show all department regarding their performance. So this, this we can use at the end of every quarter or at least at the end of annual report. So this is the benefit of this dashboard. I hope you like this dashboard. If you like, please share to your other friends because this is a new concept. And from this, we can able to improve healthcare quality and patient safety. You know, generally visual representation is more important for quality and patient safety improvement. So we can able to use these types of visual representation for all departments. Thank you.